For the third year in a row, more people have moved to Vermont than any other state. In 2023, Vermont had the most inbound moves with 65% of people moving in and only 35% of the moves being out of the state. So with that in mind, I'll be covering Vermont's current real estate market as well as what experts are predicting things will look like the rest of this year. Even with so many people moving in, I think you'll be surprised by what's being predicted. Jacob Barnes with eXp Realty here for another Vermont market update. And if you aren't already subscribed to see all my Vermont content, you should certainly do that. And please leave a like and a comment if you find this helpful. Starting with how market conditions are, generally speaking, things are slow. Part of that is that it's winter and so sales always decline this time of year. But also interest rates are still higher than they were a few years ago, being at about 6.92% for a 30 year mortgage at the time of making this video. For buyers, an almost 7% interest rate with housing prices still not very affordable is keeping them waiting. For sellers, most people have an interest rate on their current mortgage under 4%, so trading that for something that's going to cost quite a bit more for the same price home is not as appealing either. Interest rates have dropped from a high of 8% a few months ago, which makes people not feel quite as bad though. The Fed says they plan to drop the interest rate 3 to 4 times towards the end of 2024 and will drop them sometime into 2025. People are predicting that they will be somewhere around 6% or a little lower by the end of 2024 and maybe around 5.5% in 2025, maybe even lower if we're lucky. There are currently 1,119 residential listings for sale in all of Vermont. So far, January has had the lowest inventory in over 20 years. I've only been in real estate for three years and it's dropped consistently each of those years. There are roughly around 1,800 realtors in Vermont and they're about 4% less than there were a year ago. I think that number is going to keep dropping since there are a lot more realtors than there are homes for sale. Last year has been hard for a lot of realtors and I think the start of 2024 is going to be hard as well. Inventory should continue to rise the next few months as it always does in the spring though. It's just sad to look back through the years and see that in January 2020 there were over three times as many homes for sale than there are currently. And by sad, I don't just mean for realtors, but even for buyers, it's just much harder to find what someone wants when inventory is so low. I was just looking for a buyer with a budget over a million for a modern contemporary house with high ceilings. And wow, if you're looking for that, there is literally nothing on the market right now. If you are moving to Vermont, I hope you are happy with a generic new build or a partially renovated farmhouse because there isn't much available right now. The median sales price in Vermont has dropped a little since the summer, but it's still been pretty steady from the fall into the winter as you can see. Up quite significantly from January of last year with the median Vermont home selling for $325,000 to the median of $380,000 today, a 17% increase in the median home price. That's crazy. The average home sale went from $426,000 last year to $446,000 this year, which was only a 5% increase. Although home prices are still not going down, homes are selling on average about 2.8% below list price right now. Last January, homes were selling on average for 2.4% below list. So there is extremely low inventory and the average home is selling for below list price. So if you're a buyer and you see something you like on the market, now might be a good time to pounce on it. The average home that's closed is staying on the market about 43 days, which is faster than the past five Januaries, but still means that the average seller is usually waiting often over a month before they go under contract. Homes in the $200,000 to $300,000 range are selling the fastest with an average about 31 days on the market. If you want to sell your house, there is a pent up demand and that demand will be rising as interest rates drop and people both need and want to move. It's hard to say exactly where the market will be in a year from now because interest rates dropping is good both for sellers and buyers. Sellers are going to be more willing to change their 4% rate for 6% compared to an 8% of last year. Unfortunately, the sellers will still be competing with buyers if they want to stay in Vermont, so there will probably still be a lot of sellers holding onto their homes because they don't feel like they can win something better. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, there are a lot more people moving into Vermont than there are moving out right now. What I think we really need is a lot more new construction in Vermont, but at the same time, I don't want Vermont to become overrun by big cities either. That's the hard thing that Vermont lawmakers have been struggling with and more changes to Act 250 are still being discussed in the State House to hopefully help with housing inventory and affordability. 29% of people who moved to Vermont last year were moving closer to family, but Vermont is being ranked one of, if not the best state to live in every year, 
as well as the best state for climate change. And so people are wanting to come here in droves, especially with the West Coast droughts and fires and the extreme heat of states like Texas and Florida. If you are considering moving, feel free to reach out to me and I would love to discuss your goals and whether or not it's a good time for you to make a transition. Only time will tell if we will have more or less homes for sale by the end of 2024. And if you subscribe, I'll give you quarterly market updates so you can follow along with the market and where things appear to be headed. See ya!